Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Sandman, S-A-N-D-M-A-N. It's my PSN ID. Um, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to create your own PlayStation 3 themes. Um, before we get started, let me tell you, this is a time-consuming process. It takes a long time. At least it does for me, because I'm not too great at it. Um, but I do know how to work it. So, um, I'll be going through what programs you need, and also how to use it. Um, let's go show you the screen cam. Alright, first off what you guys are going to need is any kind of photo editing uh, program. In my case I'm using Adobe Photoshop. Um, I guess you could use paint, I haven't tried that, but it's a possibility. And um, also you could, you're going to need um, PlayStation 3 theme creator. Um, you can get PlayStation 3 theme creator off of the www.ps3-themes.com website. Um, they have a link right up here. It's called uh, PS3 Theme Builder. You click on it and it'll bring you to this. What you do is then go to the bottom and then click download here. Once you click on that, it'll ask you to run it, save it. I clicked run and it'll ask you to install it. Um, once it's installed, um, you'll see a desktop icon and it'll also be in your start menu. When you open it up, um, bring it down to size for you guys. There you go. You get to... Sh it's very like user friendly. It looks, it looks pretty decent. Um, it looks simple. Alright. What you got here is the XMB and all the subfolders. Um, as you can see, it automatically gives you um, these ones here. Um, what I did here for photo and users is created my own. This is what you guys are going to do. Um, let me show you how to make one for settings. First off, to make one, you're going to have to well first get a picture and save it somewhere on your computer open up photoshop let it open bring it down to size for you guys and I like my layers box alright, I'll need that later so, what we're going to do is we're going to then open that settings picture that we want. Um, I already have all my pictures saved. So what I'm going to do is find it. Let me see if I remember where I put it. Nope. Alright, I'm going to use this as my settings picture. Once it's in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the background. So with my magical wand tool, I click on the background, here it's black, and then select inverse. That'll select everything except for the background. Um, I then copy it, so... Um, so what I'm then going to do is open an existing... Here I downloaded all, I also downloaded the sample file. Um, this shows me how big I should make them. So that once I then copied it, I go out to here, paste it on top of this picture. Funnily enough, this is the right size. <laughs> um, so yeah, if it's too big or too small, what you do is you then um, transform it to make it how big you want it, right? So once it's that big, big enough, um, once it's the right size, I'm s sorry, once it's the right size, I mean, click that check right there and then delete the background here so delete what I had already there delete that and what I'm left with is this picture minus the background at the correct size I then go to save as save it to a directory where I can find it and make sure it's saving as a .png um, rename it to whatever I want settings and then make sure it's PNG, click save. Um, 
I don't give a shit about this. Click OK. Once that's done, what we just did was we created our own image. Open up PS3 Theme Creator once more. Um, click. It's as easy as fuck. It's as easy as clicking on it. So you click on settings to change it. Find whichever one it was. I'm already in here, so it's going to be uh, settings, and it changes for you. What you then do is you then do that for each one of these. Um, that's what I'm talking about. It takes a long time because you have to do each button. Um, if any of y'all know what the TV thing would be for, because I don't think I've ever seen this button. Um, yeah, leave me a message. Let me know what that is. I'm curious. Um, you could also add a background to it, as you can see here. You could also change the uh, pointer icons and all that for the web browser. And you know, change the font, theme color, and here the background. Let me show you how to put in a background. I've already got it all up, uh, downloaded on my PC. So what you do is you click it to change it. Find out where I, f where I saved it. There you go. Now I save this. As you can see there, it's 3600 by 2400. That's a big picture. Um, if you open it up, it'll say the HD background should be 1920 by 1080. Oh well, mine's not. Click OK. And it, it'll show you what it looks like on that background. You could add multiple backgrounds. Let's get another one up here. Let's put that one. This one's also big. So it'll prompt me, it'll put that message up there again. Boom. Click OK. It allows you up to, I think it's nine. Let me check here. Oh no, up to 16 backgrounds. It's pretty cool. So um, you could also click preview all. It'll run through them each. Um, I'm not going to go through that with you. Once you're done creating each button, putting backgrounds on it, changing, like configuring it to your liking, you then could uh, rename your theme. Sandman's theme. Author, Sandman version definitely 1.0 uh, you could enter a URL if you like or genre test comment none you could either you could enter an author icon theme icon preview icon for the backgrounds uh, it could be a JPEG I believe because these are all JPEGs for all the buttons is a PNG um once you're done everything you're ready to export it Save XML. There you are. So generate P3T file. It'll ask you which one. So you go here, click on Sandman's theme. Sandman's theme once again. It'll say generating dot P3T file. Um, let it load up. Let it load up. Once that dot PT3 file is created, you then take that file. You put it on your uh, USB thumb drive or iPod and then um, transfer it onto your PlayStation 3. I have another video um, that would show you how to do that so I'm not going to go over it. Um, if you guys have any more questions please feel free to leave a comment um, or send me a message on the PlayStation Network. My PlayStation Network ID once again is Sandman, S A N D dash M A N. Um, that is all for this video. Have a good one.